Hi, Eric Linask with TMC here at the Jacob Javits Center in New York at Cloud Expo 2012. Alex, thanks for joining me. Tell me a little bit about, uh, we were just talking, there's a lot of buzz around this uh, show floor today. What are people interested in? Definitely, one of the biggest things we've seen interested in is disaster recovery. Uh, customers that are thinking about the cloud and how they can leverage the cloud in their business. Really, one of the areas that they've seen that makes a lot of sense strategically is around disaster recovery. And rather than investing in a, uh, a full-blown secondary version of everything they deploy in production, being able to leverage the cloud in an oversubscribed environment for that use case. Uh, so we're definitely seeing a lot of excitement around that. Are people actually coming to you looking for DR solutions, or is it something that uh, you're able to tell them, hey, by the way, this is something that you can really do well with the cloud? Uh, we're seeing some of both, actually. We're seeing a lot of customers that are looking to think about how does the cloud fit in strategically into their environment, and others that are really specifically asking for disaster recovery and thinking about how can I leverage the cloud to lower my cost in this area. Obviously, since uh, 2001, there's been a lot of talk about disaster recovery. Has that uh, a, has it, that talk died down at all? And B, is there, or is there a, just a greater awareness of it since then? We're actually seeing that that talk is starting to resume again. I think people got a little bit complacent for a while there, uh, but their disaster recovery plan was pretty mature, and we're seeing customers suddenly have much more aggressive RTO and RPO guidelines that they need to hit. Uh, we're going from a world where the average application had maybe a 24-hour RPO, RTO need, to where almost every customer is looking for four-hour or lower RPOs and RTOs for some applications. So we're seeing much more aggressive requirements around that all of a sudden that's really driving those discussions. How much is the ability to leverage cloud-based uh, cloud solutions for disaster recovery as opposed to having to do it all yourself, in helping increase that awareness? Uh, I think a lot of customers are starting to think about what does cloud mean for this, and they're starting to look at how can I get out of doing this myself and putting out the, you know, both the outlay of capital as well as operational time and effort to build it themselves. We're seeing a lot of customers starting to think about how do I use the cloud for this, but uh, I think they're still not quite sure how that fits in yet, and they're looking for guidance from vendors around that right now. Are there specific vertical markets that you're seeing more interest from? Uh, I don't know that it breaks, so much down by, it breaks down so much by vertical. I mean, certainly we're seeing interest in, among those who have critical transactional or revenue generating applications, uh, somewhat regardless of vertical, but it can be across a pretty wide range of, uh, of verticals, but we're also seeing a size preference. Companies that are in that mid-market space are really seeing a need for a more cost-effective disaster recovery strategy as their IT budget has been under so much pressure for the last couple of years, but their recovery requirements are going, growing more and more strict. Are you seeing multiple, uh, that, that being said, are you seeing multiple size businesses, small, too large, coming to you for uh, DR services? We're definitely seeing a range. I think we're seeing companies in the larger space look at strategically sourcing DR. They're looking at where can I leverage cloud-based DR for certain applications, but for other applications, I can build something internally or I have a particular requirement that requires me to operate my own environment. And you sort of think about an 80-20 breakdown for those larger companies where for the majority of their Windows environment, their Linux environment, they want to leverage DR uh, as a service in the cloud, and then other parts they may manage themselves. In contrast, you've got companies that are on the smaller end of that scale, really thinking about how can I outsource DR as a whole into the cloud environment. So we're definitely seeing a wide range of customers uh, in terms of sizes looking at this. So what do folks do with uh, whatever uh, technology or infrastructure they've already implemented and paid for uh, for their existing DR solutions? That's a great question. So that answer really depends a lot on how old that infrastructure is. One of the things we've seen drive that conversation from many customers is that that infrastructure has reached obsolescence. Their storage arrays are no longer supported. They're out of uh, vendor maintenance contracts. And so in a lot of cases, you're looking at customers that are really actively trying to scrap that environment. Uh, for others where they have a more recent investment, they want to protect that investment, again, we kind of go back to that strategic sourcing model where parts of their environment they want to continue to operate, uh, but for other parts of that, they want to rely on a cloud service provider for disaster recovery. And I think this is one of the things that sort of differentiates us in that market is that they can adopt a hybrid approach. Alex, thank you, it's been a pleasure. This is Eric Linask with, with TMC coming to you from Cloud Expo. Follow this interview and many more at my Twitter account, at elinask. <laughs>